this his vision of life resonated so broadly. Hefnerian creed of personal liberation, sexual freedom, and material abundance reshaped modern social values. But only sporadically has his victories been a case for arousing triumph on a claim. While periodically enjoying popular cachet basically from the late 1950s till mid 1970s, he also often suffered repeated battering. From the right, from traditionalist and Christian fundamentalist, but also from the left, from man hating militia feminists. Yet his resiliency and passionate, indefatigable advocacy kept him afloat. <laughs> Hefner and his Playboy world view stood at the forward edge of history and preserved till American mainstream gradually, often unwittingly, digested and assimilated its key tenets. As commentary often recently considered, we are living in Hef's world. And Hef is doing well, although being 84 now, he likes to describe himself. In many ways, I'm younger now than I was 20 years ago. He also, when asked about his age, likes to that I'm always saying now I'm in my blonde years. But <laughs> since the end of my marriage, all of my girlfriends have been blonde. Mr. Playboy has prevailed thanks to victories, usually slow gathering in pace and complex in nature, Four key campaigns. First and most obviously, Hefner survives as the most enduring symbol of sexual revolution and deserves a considerable credit for the sexual openness of modern times. It is hard to imagine that even back in the 1960s, married characters on TV systems slept in separate beds. Now, premarital sex appears as the norm, as well as half naked ladies on the billboards all over the towns. Second of all, Hefner played a crucial role in ascendance of customer culture. Uh, Playboy portrayed material abundance as well as relaxed sexual standards as keys to a good life, idealized at the pages of Playboy and promoted in highly publicized lifestyle. And Playboy provided monthly guidance on stylish consumption. Readers imagined themselves as Captain Mayor, the man who wanted fine wines, chic cars, and smart clothes to go with his beautiful woman. Third, Hefner played a vital role in feminist revolution that transformed modern gender relation. Playboy overturned traditional standards by promoting uh, women to enjoy sex, advocating their economic freedom, social equality. Hefner's dream of personal, political, and economic freedom become the part and the parcel of the crusade for women's rights that march on to a legal, social, and cultural triumph. And those three victories in these three areas created also the victory in the form of his largest success. He Hefner stands as a major architect of today's America's most dominant mindset of self-fulfillment. The fantasy in Playboy become the reality for the society. Since World War II, citizens of the most abundant country envisioned the land as the one of endless possibilities. Playboy ethos become mainstream, with its far from current pulling many people toward common destinations. Self-fulfillment in every way imaginable in a world with a very few strengths. For good or ill, and the publisher would be the first to agree that each individual is free to judge. We all do live in Hef's world, and what we think of him.